Hey everybody, Audiophile Barista here. So in this picture you see three pairs of loudspeakers. There's my Ocelias, of course. There is the Totem Might that I just recently bought. And there is a pair of Totem Staff loudspeakers that I have on loan for the weekend. So I'm going to play around with them. I'm going to take you with me on that journey. But the first step is to set them up. And this is how I do that. Okay, let me give you a little update on what I'm doing here. So as you can see, the Ocilias are gone. They were in the way of getting a good picture and I just moved them to the side. I also put the chair over here because the couch was too far away and I wanted to have a comfortable seat to listen and one that I can change forwards and backwards in order to find the right spot. So that is what I'm doing and the stuff loudspeakers are now over there and I'm almost done. Meaning the way that I want to have placement in the sound stage, the big sound stage, stuff like that. I'm 90% there. There's just a few little things. First, let me show you some other thing. Here we have the two totem might loudspeakers. Yesterday I posted a short video about those bridges, those over there and from some leftover van der Hull cable that I had laying around I made a set of jumpers as you can see over there. Okay so the first thing that I do using some familiar bass tracks familiar to me is to decide what the distance the speaker and the front wall how big that is just moving it back moving it forward and then just trying to find the spot that I think this is where bass is coming through. Not too much, not too little, just perfect. So that's step one. Okay, so here's step two. I take this audio rack, I measure the exact middle of the rack. And as you can see down here, I placed a few bits and pieces. And those pieces indicate the exact middle of that rack and the line towards the listening chair. That is the exact center that I'm going to use. Okay, so why do I use a center line instead of just using the side walls and the front wall? Well, first of all, if you look at this side wall from the loudspeaker and this side wall from the loudspeaker, these are just completely different. So that is one reason to do that. And the other one is, why don't you just measure from the loudspeaker to the rear wall? Well, in most cases that probably will be okay, but what if this wall is not completely straight? Then you get into trouble. So now using this center line and having that as a starting point, I can create a perfect triangle within this room the two loudspeakers and the listening position and I don't have to bother about anything around it. Then I will measure from the center to the speaker and I will do the exact same on this line. So now these loudspeakers are perfectly centered. So the next thing I do is to remove this chair, get on that line that I centered out go back and forward just on my knees so my ears are at the height of the tweeter of the loudspeakers just trying to sit more up front more backwards and somewhere the stereo image the sound stage will fall into place i mark that spot and then i put the chair over there in order to have my head exactly where i had this exercise that i did just before so now I have tuned in the bass, I have tuned in the exact center line and I have tuned in the spot that I think is the best for the listening distance. And then I'm going to focus on if the image in the middle is sharp enough. And to still have the uh, sound stage be as wide as possible. Now my favorite CD for checking soundstage, image, placement, stereo with all those things is Amuse to That from Roger Waters. There's a few songs and this is uh, recorded in Q sound, which means sounds are in phase and out of phase. 
And if you are familiar with the tracks, you know exactly where these little tiny voices are in the stereo mix. And some of those are not only in between the loudspeakers, but all the way on the side. So there's many voices that are actually right next to your ear. And throughout time, because I've used that CD on many, many systems, I know when it is good or when it is not good, but for trying to find perfect white soundstage, that for me is the perfect CD to use. So now bass is in place, the stereo image is as white as possible, soundstage is huge. And then there's just one last thing that I need to do. Well, there's actually two things. Uh, but the first one is to have uh, try and see how far apart these two loudspeakers can be. Trying to move them more outward until the center image starts to fade a little bit and then just pull them back a little bit. And then when I have found that balance between huge soundstage and a solid stereo image, then there's only one thing left to do. What I do is I place this tripod with a measurement device on top as close to where my head would be when I'm sitting, listening and I'm using that to make sure that both loudspeakers are at the exact equal distance from my head. So the left one and the right one and if I'm really getting geeky this is about millimeters. And when I say geeky, I really mean geeky. So what I do is I measure this point in the speakers, somewhere halfway, with my fingers, somewhere halfway between these two. So at this line, I measure this point in order to make sure that that point on this loudspeaker and the same, the inside, on the other speaker is the same, but also on this side so I'm, sh I'm knowing that the angle towards the listening position from the loudspeaker for both speakers is exactly the same and I'm meaning millimeters and obviously I'm also using this device to measure the distance to both loudspeakers from the center line and that's it that is how I set up my listening triangle so stay tuned for sound samples and all those kind of things but for now thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one